So the term spirituality has become like a trend in recent years. And it's pretty awesome. People are getting more into self-knowledge to self-awareness. But I think a lot of us are missing the point. When you first hear about spirituality, oh, you want to get your crystals, your sage, you get your astrology readings, do all your yoga and tarot cards and whatever. And honestly, I'm going to tell you, all that is a waste of time. All that is an absolute waste, and I think it's missing the entire point of what spirituality is. You know, when things trend, everyone gets into them at a surface level without really knowing what they are. You have people thinking that they're above others because they're more spiritual, they're more conscious, or they're more tapped in. There's this term known as spiritual bypassing, and I think we're seeing it way too much. Spiritual bypassing is using practices like your yoga, like your crystals or whatever, to avoid painful or difficult circumstances and not face them head on or try to solve them. I think we're missing the point on what it really means to be spiritual. And yes, this is a spiritually inclined channel. Honestly, I hate the word spiritual because it's so cliche, but I intentionally wanted to make this channel different than the other ones. I wanted to bridge spiritual concepts like knowledge of self, meditation, the mind, manifestation, knowledge of like energy and magnetism with practicality and logic. Practical spirituality, I guess, is what you could call it. Merging the non-physical or the spiritual with real life. We got to face our stuff. Life is real. Things suck. And we're not just going to avoid it. What is spirituality to me? A lot of people look at spirituality as a religion. And honestly, I think all the religions that exist are pretty much saying the same thing. To me, spirituality is not a religion. Spirituality is gaining knowledge of yourself and the world, and then using all of that to figure out how you can show up at your fullest and contribute the most. To me, a truly spiritual person faces their struggles head on. You know, actually facing your fears instead of just sitting there and meditating. Actually solving your problems instead of just sitting there and using affirmations in hopes that they'll just go away. The biggest thing I think that's holding a lot of people back is not facing their traumas, not facing the deepest parts of ourselves that we just want to avoid. Because it's really hard to actually heal a trauma, we got to let that repressed emotion come up again. And we got to face the depths of ourselves. That's why they call it shadow work. It's the stuff under the hood. It's the stuff that we can't see that's holding us back, limiting us from our potential. Actually solving your anxiety instead of just coping. Connecting with what truly excites you and what you're passionate about. And using your inspirations, your excitements to lead you towards what your purpose could be. Learning how to enjoy and cherish the present moment because that's all that exists to stop living in the past or the future and focus on now. Spirituality is learning how to find complete balance within yourself. You can check out the last video I made where I talk all about that and the power that comes with it. When you develop the ability to stay in the present moment on command, you start to accept life and flow with life instead of resisting life and trying to change it all the time and you let things come to you, you attract things instead of always pushing towards things. And you can serve a lot more energy when you do that. Developing yourself to your full potential is what spirituality is to me. Learning how to control your mind and to control your reality in the direction that you want. Learning how to master your life. We're not going to get there by just saging ourselves. So if you're just getting into your self-transformation journey and the self-improvement and the spirituality, I'm going to save you a whole lot of time and tell you to just start facing your shit head on. Don't even worry about astrology. Don't even worry about crystals. You don't even got to read that many books. Start observing yourself, your mental patterns, how you think, and how those are holding you back from actually fulfilling your potential. The quicker you learn about yourself, how you're programmed, and the quicker you snap out of it and start to control reality how you want, the faster you learn the lessons that life presents you with, the more evolved and Spiritual, I guess you, oh, I hate that word. Spiritual, for lack of a better term, develops that you will become. It's painful to actually work through your problems. But if you want to 10x your spiritual journey, the progress that you have of your self-development, you got to face them sooner or later. You have full-blown adults 
that even though they're old in age, they're not self-aware. They haven't took the time to work on themselves. They haven't took the time to examine themselves. And they've been avoiding the depths of themselves because it's scary. They don't want to see what's under the surface. They don't want to face what's holding them back. And when you have the courage to face your traumas, the things that are hiding, that are going with you into every present circumstance and just limiting you. When you have the courage to do that and you let them come up and resurface, that's when you can actually accept them, notice how they're affecting you in present day and let them go. And the more you clear yourself of all these blockages, that's when you can become the highest version of yourself. And that's why I started this channel. Don't forget to give the video a like, comment with any feedback and subscribe to support this channel. First.